there are a few things that I have learned about being a content creator. There's a car! Boop. Part of being a content creator is being able to be spontaneous in front of a camera. But you have to make stuff. I don't think I'm allowed to be a YouTuber yet. The following video is most obviously an absolute and utter train wreck. It's not to, meant to be good. It's meant to be momentum for me to start making something so I will make more things more frequently in the future. I'm getting a ball rolling. If you find it useful, that's phenomenal. I hope you do. If you want to be a content creator, you have to create content every day. Even if it's just a TikTok, an Instagram, a Facebook, whatever it is, you have to do something every single day or you are not going to be as good at it as you could be. You, you just got to. Okay? And I've learned, I'm learning that the hard way. I don't make stuff every single day. Or I didn't. I do now. And this is part of it. You have to make content. Some people get on YouTube and they say, I want to get rich and I want to get famous and I'm going to have all of this money. You're not going to have all this money if you don't make content. Okay? The only way that people on YouTube get big is by making a bunch of content, polarizing content that shows, hey, I teach this stuff or I'm all about this kind of stuff. And you stick to that and make a bunch of it. So when people have questions, you are the authority on that name. You have to have the influence. And the only way you get the influence is by creating a bunch of content every day. You have to use that part of your brain. You have to exercise it and you just have to do it all the time. If you want it to be your job and you want it to make money, you have got to pour into it. You have to invest. You have to learn new skills. You have to learn how to get in front of a camera and talk with your hands so it's, it's interesting, but not so much so that it's distracting. Paying attention is a conscious action, but it's influenced so much by the subconscious, the things that you don't notice consciously, but you would notice if they weren't there, or you would know that something was missing. And when people get in front of the camera and they just talk on the same tone the whole time, and they don't do anything with their hands. I, I swatted a gnat. That wasn't meant to be. Just talk in front of a camera and they use the same tone the whole time. It's not interesting or entertaining. It gets dull. And you don't want dull. That lamp is turned on. Something else about being a content creator. You've got to be weird. There's a car. Not, not weird. You have to be expressive. You have to be very expressive. Any little thing. Just like make something out of it. Make a deal out of it. Don't be dramatic and annoying around your friends because that's dramatic and annoying and you probably won't keep your friends. But when you're on camera, know how to be expressive. If you have an idea, know how to be expressive of that idea, okay? People don't follow the, the, the boring. Oh my gosh. People don't follow the boring people on TikTok or the boring people on Instagram. And the only way that you are not boring, besides tonalities, is by being expressive. People pay attention to expressive. People pay attention to the loud noise. You don't have to be a bunch of noise, but be an expression with a purpose. Something that's very important about being a content creator, about being a minister, is knowing why you're doing with the thing. It's knowing why you're creating the content. Are you creating the content for God? Is it a sermon? Is it a discussion? Is it a small group? Is it a Bible study? Whatever you are making, who are you making it for? Does it make you happy? Does it make your viewer happy? Does it make God happy? You need a purpose, because if you don't have a purpose, you're going to get bored with yourself and you're never going to finish. And getting good at creating content, like I said in the beginning, requires creating a bunch of content and knowing what's good and knowing what's bad and knowing what you like and what you don't like. It's all part of the problem. It's all part of the puzzle. You have to learn how to fail and keep going. You have to learn how to make a mistake, look at it, see what you did wrong, and then go and do it again but better. You have to learn how to do that. And you have to have the confidence and the boldness in yourself to look at a failure and say, I am not my failure. You have to understand that. You are not your past. You are not your mistakes. You are you in the moment right now. You don't have the future, you don't know if it's coming. You don't have the past, you already used it. You have the present moment. How are you going to spend it? Something else that you have to learn how to do is embarrass yourself and keep going. Nothing actually happens when you get embarrassed. You just feel goofy and then life goes on. But it don't make it a big deal and it won't be a big deal. You have that power. Use it. Create a bunch of content all the time. Be consistent and be everywhere. Make yourself known, 
for your niche. If that's ministry, there you go. If it's photography, there you go. If it's video games, entertainment, what have you. Be known in your niche by being present in your niche constantly. Try to be annoying, but make your content good. I love getting off topic. I'm starting to sweat. I have a sunburn. It's not good, okay? I'm not shy about it, but I will tell you, make a bunch of content. Be confident in your content. Be interesting. Have passion with a purpose. Just make stuff. Just make stuff, okay? All you got to do is just make stuff and you'll get good at it. You'll find what you like, you'll find what you love as you taste all the little different things. I'm just talking nonsense into a camera. This is probably not going to be any good. It's going to be mo probably useless. But the useless content that you create prepares you for the great content in the future. Everything you make doesn't have to be good and perfect and flawless. It just has to be something. You just have to make something. And do it consistently and don't stop. Thank you, Gary Vee. Great advice, great entrepreneur. He's everywhere. He's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, he's on Twitter, he's on TikTok, he's everywhere. And he makes content every day. And because he makes content every day and it's good content and it's consistent content, he gets attention. And when he gets attention, he gets fans. When you have fans, you have followers, you can sell hoodies and t-shirts. Make money. If you want to be great at anything, do the most basic version of that thing uh, over and over and over again. So when you move up to greater things, they're easy. If you watch this video, if you watch this whole video, God bless you. Because I've been standing in front of a camera for like 20 minutes just babbling about every little thing that came to my mind regarding this subject. And it's not organized by any means. But when I chop it up and edit it, it'll probably be mediocre. So thank you for watching my mediocre video and I hope that the other videos on my channel are a whole lot better than this one. And I hope that the little informations and the sprinkles that I've put throughout here that I've learned in just a short period of time are useful to you. And you know, this video might never see the light of day, but that's okay because I made something and I got practice in. I love you. Watch another video on my channel that's not better so you don't think I'm a nerd. And uh, have a good day.